Here we go, episode five. Get excited. I don't want to be here. Oh. I said get excited. I... That's an order. No. no. I am. I'm I like... refuse to be Pardon? excited. There was me thinking, we get together to watch this amazing show, and then you're like, ooh. Ooh, fun no, isn't no. allowed. See, I had a long work day. It was pretty busy, and all me, I'm getting, me, me, me. Or, I, 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 all I. I'm, all I'm getting is stupid Boba Fett. Stupid Boba Fett. He's quite yeah. smart. I'll have you know. <laughs> He's smart yeah. at being stupid. Whoa! I didn't know you can be that stupid. He hey, Mewfly, remember how we watched Arcane last night? That was great. Oh. And now I have to watch this, which won't be great. Are you so, saying that yay. Arcane is better than Book of... I can't even finish the sentence, that's absurd. It's a little bit better, just a little bit. Wow. Just a tiny little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit better. You're just biased because you play games. Yeah, you're nitpicking I, too. I nitpick and play games. Sometimes I do that at the same time. Yeah, nitpicking right. is the N-word. Um, <laughs> that's philosophical, I would say. Just some memes. Some memes I want to show you guys. I'm excited so, for memes. Are there any of them about yeah. here? So this one, actually yes, um, this one got real high up on the Star Wars memes subreddit, which is a oh, normie hell. subreddit. That's why it got high up on there. See, it says, oh, not that one again. These dudes look like Power Rangers. They ruined Boba's character. Quit having fun. Wait, it's this like, is about the bikers, or? Well, it's just about being critical of the show. That apparently you're the annoying person while everyone's having fun, and it's just like this meme has never really made sense to me because it's like if you're complaining that they they like barge into conversations to interrupt people having fun, then yeah, sure, but that doesn't happen. It's forums. It's it's the, the, the idea would be that you've got someone who's like just upset by the idea that someone's enjoying themselves with the show, which I'm sure you get. I'm sure you do get that, just as, you know, you get lots of people doing whatever, right? I, f I feel like the, the comic, it's like an oxymoron, because the fact that you're posting it means that you're not ignoring that person. You're not sitting there just going <laughs> on the screen. Like, you know that they exist also, and it upset you. how about we try the reverse, where everyone's talking about how shit it is, and someone goes, uh, actually, he is in character? Actually, the Power Rangers are pretty fucking cool. Quit hating. Mm -hmm. I got you did it. Just yeah. like that. I wonder if that's that's probably allowed though. That's probably okay. Anyway, I just, someone on the uh. the mall subreddit made this. I I just I'm amused by it. Like, I feel sad how a lot of potential was wasted with Boba. Yeah, his character is quite different. There's a lot of weird spelling in this. If you compare it to previous sure. iterations, especially his dialogue's very weak. Interesting. I agree in concept. Like, substantiate that claim. Also, resent additions feel like... Recent additions feel like uh, they clash tonally with Star Wars. Why you guys like this? Let me enjoy stuff. And then shows the meme. It's like, yeah, you can enjoy what you want. We're only discussing... Oh my god, new Marvel movie! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Moon Knight. Gary, are you listening? Are you even interested in movie discussion? No? Okay. <laughs> new Star Wars thing. Yay, Wee. New Star Wars. I love New Star Wars. Yay. Long time Let's ago, see. a galaxy far, far away. Let's bring, bring you this gift from the twins. <laughs> Perfectly healthy rancor. They're made out of C4. No. No, it's not. Okay, <laughs> do you want to work for me? Book of Boba Fett and Gary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Boba's a very good job haver. Yes. I like the explosion signs on the rancor. No, safety first. <laughs> safety first. C4 is written on its belly as well. <laughs> Good stuff. Then, then there's this. I've tried to decipher this comic previously with no luck. So Frank's okay. fair H2O, and you got the tanks are mostly empty. Father, I'm so hungry. Oh no! And he says, Oh god, please, not again. Oh, there's, there's an iguana. <laughs> okay. So. Um... So I guess the child, their crutch breaks, mm, yes. and that's that's bad. Little Tiny Tim had his crutch <clears throat> break. His father has a gun on the desk like he's considering <laughs> suicide. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> and, I think... <laughs> and then the iguana... I imagine the implication is like the reality of the water selling guy, but I don't get the final image. <laughs> you know what I think? He broke his wooden, his wooden thingy. And now he has to use the nose guana to get a new stick. I think that's oh. a stretch, though, because it's like, why specifically the iguana? <laughs> that makes sense to me, though. That actually, that actually is like, oh, like, 
I, I actually see a narrative in, in this series of images now. What, what am I looking at with, I see the guy and then the iguana, but what's underneath the iguana? What is all of that? It's his house where he lives. <laughs> yeah, that's the little wicker pot that they keep him in. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> oh my god, this is foul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think nature is foul rags. It's beautiful. The truth oh, is beautiful. Just a little bit of hot cream. This is yeah. disgusting. It looks like that purple creature from the grimace. Grimace. <laughs> Grimbus. Grimace is melting. <laughs> oh, dog grimace. The thing is, rags. It has to lick up the cream, otherwise it, it'll run out. Like this. It's like a yeah. cycle. <laughs> What is Grimace's thing? Because I get like <laughs> McDonald is like the clown, and then you have the ham burglar, and he's dressed as a burglar. But what is Grimace what is, is purple. Grimace? Grimace he's is big purple. purple. Grimace is a character featured in McDonald Land commercials. He is a rotund purple being of indeterminate species, <laughs> with short <laughs> arms and legs. He is known for his slow-witted demeanor. Imagine that's like one of the first things it says on your wiki page. <laughs> yeah, that's just the most important thing. Got to get that out of the way. His most common expression is the word duh before every sentence. Oh, <laughs> oh originally Grimace was the evil Grimace with two pairs of arms with which to steal milkshakes. But after that first campaign, the character was revised to be one of the good guys and his number of arms was reduced by two. Wow, it's like Disney wrote this. Honestly, they, they character assassinated anymore. Grimace. They did. They character assassinated <laughs> Grimace. Oh. Maybe Grimace fell in a Sarlacc pit and he no longer craved the milkshakes of other people. What is McDonald's it about pit. having four arms that's too villainous that when he's reformed, he has to be reduced to two arms? Yeah, I would rather be, I, I, if I was Grimace, I'd be very upset. I'd be like, okay, I, I get the character change, but don't take my limbs away from me. Or do you think they, do you think they like took him into a back room with yes. a saw? Said, let's make hero you a now, hero, Grimace. Yeah. yeah, that was the stipulation of the new contract. And he really needed a job. His family was starving. They Audiences. couldn't afford water. Audiences don't respond to four-armed heroes. They just, it's just no. Nope, I couldn't that. afford water, but what he needed is some hero to go and reduce the price of water on his behalf. So I'll show you this picture, and we can discuss. So there is a a chest full of hamburgers. Some of them are cheeseburgers. Mm. We have the ham burglar. I assume this is the chest where he keeps all of his stolen hamburgers, much like a Pokemon and a Pokeball. We have anthropomorphic fries, milkshake, and another burger. This one's dressed. The others are naked. You Why can is there see a their fucking buttons. duck? There is a duck on the left. Whoa, what the fuck is just the... What is the fucking the shadow, shadow creature in the background? <laughs> we don't talk about Mr. Grin. I thought right? this was leading up to the shadow. So He's just like Uncle anything. Weston or something. <laughs> his name is... Yeah, it's <laughs> he's just the shadow. <laughs> All I can think of is like the, the custard and the, the, the custard. I was about to say custard and matchup. Ketchup <laughs> and, and mustard. Matchup. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard. The shadow creature is actually just representative of all the gunk and grease inside of a McDonald's kitchen. Mm. And that's the creature that forms. It's it's kind of like Grave Mind. We also have a pirate with a parrot on his shoulder. The parrot looks like he's going to fall down in a second. That's a... Uh, but maybe that's the oh, water one. Good grip. I don't know. I prefer Pirate the idea that they all just li there's a sitcom in a big house, and Uncle Weston is just this this creature that moves by every once in a while, and they acknowledge him, but they never speak to him. The sitcom should be they have to run a McDonald's, and everyone has all their jobs and stuff to do, and they have to deal with the wacky shenanigans of the customers in this upside down, topsy turvy world where hamburgers are sentient. Dude, that's dark. Actually, do the hamburgers have to reproduce to make children? Even the chicken nuggets have eyes on them that Nigel Thornberry has there. Mm -hmm. All of the chickens, the chicken nuggets have eyes. They're like it's like a family. I think he's like a nugget arranged. scientist. It's makes it when, when you've he's done too much doctor. world building and the, the the food is creatures now. Yeah, like he's a he's a Nazi scientist who escaped. Oh no. Uh, the Nuremberg trials, and now he's performing experiments on chicken biomass. Anyone who would guess that timestamp for the Rags Nazi clock? <laughs> Bingo! You get you get ten pooch points. You want to keep point. those? You want to save those for later? However, it all makes sense in the lore that this gentleman is actually an escaped Nazi scientist because, of course, he went to find a job with the whitest creature he could find, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> He's pretty what yellow. If Ro what if Ronald McDonald is actually red, and that's the only <laughs> part of his skin that doesn't have makeup on it? 
<laughs> he's, um, he blends in with the background. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, my eyes are so we get here? What's happening? I love looking at the picture, the family picture every once in a while, just my eyes drift to Uncle Weston. Like, he's just, he's just there, <laughs> he's so just vacant. There. <laughs> no one remembers him arriving or leaving. <laughs> but he's on really good terms with Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> him and Grimace get along. He's like the liaison for Mr. Shadow or whatever his fucking name is. It's Grimace, like, what, what? Is Mr. Shadow okay? Is he is he all right? Duh, I don't know. I, yeah, he says so. He says he hates one of you in particular, but he he's not specific. <laughs> he's very passive aggressive. He won't turn up to any of the parties, but he'll go to Grimace's birthday. He says he watches us while we sleep. So anyway, we're here to watch the book of Boba Fett. Oh, no. another Boba Fett meme. Got he? I don't even remember him saying this. There's an advantage of looking at dead, and then you, you have him. Literally, like making sure the robot understands he is he is Robo, <laughs> but why? Robo Fett. Robo Robo Fett. Fett. Man, we're nice. on a roll today. Match up and custard. Mm, custard. I will play these clips side by side to make sure this is actually a thing that happened because I didn't even know. That sounds really stupid. Sounds like someone who wrote this wasn't thinking straight. You know, maybe. Yeah. There's an advantage to people thinking you're dead. Do you know who I am? <laughs> I am Boba Fett. <laughs> Wow, that was an amazing clip. I didn't know. I guess he did say that. Wow. Wow, it must he did. Have been. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> 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 he would be happy with that. That's great. Apparently, you know, the, 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 I figure this would happen because it's such a great painting. But um, they're going to turn that into an NFT, you know. And, and... Wombo painting an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys saw it. But, I grew uh, up surrounded by NFTs. The one made an adaptation of the image, which I think is very accurate. Oh, oh wow, nice. that's great. Let's see. Look at him. I stand with the lower class. <laughs> lower class. <laughs> Very classy. I like that a lot. That's awesome. That's great, stick yeah. as a cane. <laughs> and yeah, the only thing I got left before we started up is actually a video. Can you believe it? What? Oh my gosh. I can, really? I can believe that. Oh, oh there, there it is. Go. Wait. But bo Book of Boba Fett spoilers. Look at the title, man. Come on. It's too oh, late. Yeah. For <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I got wiped out while he was gone. That's actually really fucking sad. Oh, I like cry. where this is going. Massacred them. Should have seen what Anakin did to them, bro. You really would have been mad then. What about the chief, the battle master? The battle master. Battle master. <laughs> no. Oh no, not no. him. Oh my God, they killed the chief. I don't think anyone survived. They kill everybody. They ain't let no one live. Rest in peace to the most misunderstood clan. Uh. Oh, fuck off. Can we go get let? Like, oh, fucking <laughs> no, just, The I, opening I, I, scene uh... is them enslaving and beating him with sticks. <laughs> like, it's okay. Sorry, like, it's, I, it's, I that's, don't... that's their culture, Jay. Misunderstood. I don't buy the reactions. Most of them, anyway. What do you reckon they're fake? I'm just not sold on it. I don't think it's mm. fake. I just don't think you care that much. Not really. Some of these people like, need also, to slip off a cliff at Hitler's I, 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 I would posit that they have, they know what reactions they're supposed to have at what scenes. And they, knowing that, well, like something sad happening with sad music, they're like, I should probably, I should probably cry. I should probably tear Anything is possible, right? Because it could also just be working on them. I doubt it. Yeah. But okay. Mahler, we just, no, we Mahler, just covered Mahler, a video. This, is working, this show is working on loads of people. They literally defended slavery in the last EFAB video we watched. That's true. <laughs> um, it reminds me of the, um, the Blood on Shield thing, where it's just like, man, they just, they just tell you what to feel with the shots and the music, right? That's it. It doesn't matter what's yeah, happening. that's what they do. Yes! 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 <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, fuck yes! I hope they suffer. Oh, I'm so <laughs> fucking happy. Thank God. No one, no more people are gonna get tortured. Are they gonna slave? This shows like this is terrible. I'm like, no. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. That's a different one. Those Tuscans walk like men, but they're vicious, mindless monsters. He's, he's, he's you know, he's, he's biasing them. <laughs> Every day they came in and tortured her a bit more, prodding her with sharp spears, slicing her body, or beating her with the blunt shafts, 
and short whips. It was more than a desire to inflict pain, Shmi realized, though she didn't speak their Kroger language. This was the Tuscan way of measuring their enemies, and from the nods and the tone of their voices, she realized that her resilience had impressed them. He could feel her wheezing as she tried to speak, and knew that many of her ribs had been crushed. <laughs> You're an idiot. 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 You guys are fine. And you two <laughs> are the most mind numbingly brain dead ding dongs I've ever encountered in all my life. And I'll see you in my office. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Hi. We've been Anything. through this a couple of times where it's like, humanizing the Tuscans, now that's cool, you can do that. Because I'm sure, you know, they've got their own stuff going on. I'm sure they're not all evil. Like, they're smart enough to, like, wear clothes and use blasters, right? Like... They like each they other. Must There's got to be something there, you know. Yeah. Like there must be something to there must be something to them, right? They must have their own thoughts and their own feelings and all that, right? Whatever they've got going under on, on under that, like they're not literally animals. They are people of a like like right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can you can you can explore what they've got going on. I don't understand why we're acting like even the ones from Book of Boba Fett are, are cool now, like. If they want to show us like a cool group of Tuscans to be like, hashtag not all Tuscans, don't start <laughs> by having them enslave Boba. When they dragged him across the desert the sand with a sandstorm happening, it's like, he could have died. They wouldn't really have slowly. Cared. They wouldn't have given a shit. They would have just gone and captured someone else. Yeah. Clearly the slaves are disposable with how cruelly they treat them. Ah. We'll vanquish these interlopers who threaten our planet. That's yeah, it's time to vanquish some fucking interlopers. Yeah, if fuck them. <laughs> random. Yeah, remember that conversation control. where he's like, don't betray me, and then they're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Remember when our friends were assaulted and their arm was ripped off, and you didn't, and then you hired the guy and he's right over there? What's up with that, Boba Fett? Are you assuming that they're friends just because they look alike, Rags? Wow. <laughs> they actually hated like those they... guys. Ugh, yeah, I guess. Those jerks having fun. Our our culture despises fun. Oh, I'm, I We're just an realized we fun didn't do culture. comment showcase. I forgot. Oh, God damn it! Could we do you pause and do it? I guess it's too late. We'll do a double no, one isn't. next time. <laughs> oh, boy. Why, do it after the end of the episode? We're, we're, the episode well, hadn't no. even started yet. I haven't collected the comments, I'm afraid. Oh, that's uh, right. okay. Ooh, meat. Yum. I love me some meat. Meat is so, like, deep. We just got like a regular old butcher like place in the Star Wars. World. It looks <laughs> looks so normal, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks so I guess normal. on Tatooine, I guess that's how you do it. Somehow people I doubt just, this is on Tatooine, but people maybe. here. Because well, it's, cause it's um honestly I think it's just because we're blue color that makes it feel like it's not. Uh -huh. No. Yeah. He just stands there so everyone can see him, and then he comes through. Dude, so he's so cool, right? Come on. I, I, I would like to meat. purchase some meat. <laughs> they did that damn. <laughs> I, I want, want some. Feel like everything beef. he does, if he turned on the fucking light, it would go. <laughs> when he finishes peeing, it would make that sound. When he ejaculates. <laughs> this is very exciting. Yeah, this is really cool. How well, he's we got We got to fill time, so. Man, the cape doesn't work when you're wearing the jetpack, huh? You just have to, like, move it down yeah, to the side. Yeah, that's the weird one. Yeah. It ca must catch on fire often. Blocked. No, it's made of, uh, flame... I'm here for ...resistant, retardant. What makes you think he's here? Oh, don't bring it- <laughs> No, no those things. things! What do you want of him? He owes someone important money. Important money? Important, important money. money, yeah. Unimportant mm -hmm. money. If I see him, I'll let him know. It must be hard to talk with yeah, that you can tell. stuff on your face. Mm -hmm. I see him right now. <laughs> that doesn't even look like him. He can't, how is the spear connected to him? They're not going. Magnets. Magnets. Way! Best gun magnet. Oh, he's indestructible. That's a fight scene's gonna be dumb. But you look like the practical type. Let's discuss our options. Oh, oh god, the music. He's really ah. struggling to talk. I can bring you in warm. Oh. I can bring you in cold. 
That's so cringe. What the hell? <laughs> Look at this! What a chat! <laughs> bitch. Uh huh. Yeah. How do you manage it? Oh, to oh god, he's parts. Why did you... Oh, he has a dark saber. That's so cool. Everybody aimed for his armor again. What? What? Wait, oh my god, himself? he got shot. I think he cut himself. I th I, it oh, looked that's... like he did it to himself. Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. Stop hit! All you gotta do is hit his asterisk. <laughs> We're moving towards him. You know. <sighs> Wait, now you gotta take. Both halves in. <laughs> That's gonna be annoying. You're so lucky the plot can't have you fail. Honestly, I people leave. are screaming when they see this. It's At embarrassing. Least somebody bit him. It's funny. <laughs> oh, I guess he's got the head. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I have no trouble with any of you. Whoa! There's they had a drop of blood there. The balls. Wow. Right it's to. green, so it's fine. You all can help yourselves to whatever you think you deserve from your former employer. Okay, I guess this business is done, or is it closing now? Uh, you, wait, do they think that everybody is here to protect the boss, or? I just work here, yo. Help yourselves what you think you deserve. Like, didn't the guy owe shit tons mean? of money? I mean, he doesn't really have any, I don't know. They just... Maybe he was spending money on expensive stuff, and that's why he owes it all. There's loads of expensive stuff back there. Okay, so it's clearly gonna be significant that Mando has a, a, a limp. <laughs> it's just straight up called Return of the Mandalorian. Fuck off. No. <laughs> He's been gone for like six months. Well. Oh my gosh, we're in space in Star Wars. Oh, oh my shit, god, it's you're Halo. Right. Well, it's Halo. It is Halo. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell well, is I'm this? Glad we're off fucking Tatooine. Yeah, I was gonna say. Is, well, it's because oh, Mando's in the episode. Now we get to do other things. Sort of it's interesting. Genuinely a Halo ring. Looks like it's moving a bit fast to be day night. I guess there's a. Your fastest going. Holy shit. Yeah, it's gone way too fast. fast. Look, the it's about to be daytime for Mando again. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, the lights. Yeah, the lights seem really odd. Is the daylight why, cycle yeah, for the creatures so on this planet super quick? Like, they go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up. Well, oh, the blood is to, gone. it works over by the time you get to work. Do you think they did that because they were like, well, we got to show it being cool and lighten things up? It's just like, yeah, but that's uh, That's not a how neat work. alien. Have a funny that voice. A he looks like um, he looks like the villain from Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> he looks like Cham and Drac. You're right. No Late one like on Mando way. walks into an elevator and expects not to be looked at. Really? Well, yeah, he's really he's wearing like a fucking a bounty. Man, this looks like a shit party. Yeah, this is a shit party. <laughs> well, he's brought a head to it, so that's pretty neat. I really like the visual des design of this location, which is just it feels like a shame. Don't put it on the table. Don't put it on the table. It's fine. The blood is gone. No, I can't take off my helmet. If you won't give me the information, someone else will. They really wanted that meal with him, huh? I can't say. I'd put that on ice if I were you. Also, we've done more in this. They didn't check to see if it was the bounty. Than we've done just... in all of the show so far. I'm actually like not unimpressed. With yeah, I'm, I'm actually so interested in this to some degree. This is better than anything in the fucking Mando shows either, as well. Yeah. He's bounty he's hunting. Bounty hunter Can work? you fucking believe <laughs> it? And he's, like been, he's been injured on the job. Some cream That's... on that? Yeah. Or some, some, some hot cream. Some... Yeah. Hot cream. <laughs> Also, the camera's not cutting a lot. Look at no, that. It is. Yeah. This, this, actually, this, like, this actually feels like care and attention has been put into it. I'm really liking the location this is, design. Um, this. this one is uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, actually. It wasn't the previous one, it was this one. The She's the one that made the ATST right so episode rags in season one. Oh. Right now, it's better than anything in all three shows. Yeah, this is easily the best thing. So I feel like there was just that moment where we all just sort of simultaneously realized, hey, it's not been actually total dog shit <laughs> so far. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We've gone to locations. Yeah, oh, wow. we're just sort of... We're not on Tatooine! <laughs> Woo! Fucking like, I feel like we're just developing him by seeing him go through his day. Thank you for the noise. <laughs> They're wow. so desperate to throw that noise in. That was a tiny door. Let's see if the spear hits the top of the thing. Uh. Oh. It. Oh. Uh. Is the station really that narrow? That it's just space down there. Presumably, they've got the the same technology as the hangar bays do. Well, if you fall, you can use your jetpack, right? And you'll be fine. To be fair, you could probably just do that to get down. Especially like, if your legs fucked, right? It's like probably. This is an quite... interesting concept for a space station. Yeah. Especially considering the architecture, you can't use straight beams in a lot of places. It has to angle so that it fits together. Oh, it's the Chill. blacksmith. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, she still has her blacksmithing she's still, tools. She's got her smithing tools. <laughs> <Yeah, he's... laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god! Dude, they're like He's religious right implements here. at this point. They're not even like. Yeah. It's okay. What you can you just... can you fix my leg? Oh, He's really on. fucking ham hamming that up, isn't he? He's... He really is hamming that shit up. Oh, there's oh, more. You're alive, I guess. I don't even remember if that was one we saw before. Yeah, he's the jetpack. one with the big gun, yeah. I'm sorry for your sacrifice. There are three of us now. Jesus Christ! Three Mandos left, huh? Wow. Well, three Mandalorians in total. I guess people who really like Mandalorians like this show, even though this show just dumps all over them in terms of intelligence. The Empire and they lasted less than 30 years. Mandalorians have existed 10,000. And look at him now. <laughs> surely, surely there can't be three uh, Mandalorians left because we've got like Bo Katan and shit, right? The Dark Saber. Are they not Mandalor? I don't fucking know. Do you understand its significance? Whoever wields it can lead all of Mandalore. Wow, three if people. It is won by Creed in battle. It is said one warrior will defeat yeah. twenty. Yeah, what I meant. <laughs> Dude, she's such a lore dumper. <laughs> Honestly, it's a good-looking weapon. It's just, it's called the Dark Saber. It's black. Scattered to the four winds. Yeah, that's fine. Jay, that's edgy. Mandalore will be laid to waste. And its people scattered to the four winds. The four winds, like Earth, you couldn't have changed the number so that to imply it's an alien. Okay. It was forged over a thousand years ago by the Mandalore Tar Visla. He was both Mandalorian okay. and Jedi. Okay. I have met Jedi. Please I've met friend. Jedi. Why? He's just like Boba. <laughs> up surrounded by, <laughs> surrounded by <laughs> Jedi. This is the way. Oh, the way shit. The way. the way sucks. I hate There's that three of phrase. you. Blood of millions Aren't you of helping? Kind is on his hands. Do you just have Republic a forge tribunal. here that you can move a bin see. and... Yeah. Okay. Alright. Wow, here's like, you got all your stuff oh, too. You wow. had them already. Man, this looks wow, fancy. All right. yeah, she was holding when them in her hands and now they <laughs> She got them out of the shelf thing. It can block a light Man, it's just like, I found all these Beskar things. <laughs> Can also pierce Beskar armor you can't wrist. thrust it hard enough though like there's no way you could apply enough armor. force with that spear to go through the armor this is Star Wars it'll take like a little poke Wait, is he melting the spear yeah I guess to turn it into something it's else armor. it's supposed to be armor not weapons yeah that's the way oh okay and the Lorian steel is meant for armor not weapons since you forego a signet I shall use the excess to forge whistling birds. Not weapons. The hilt is of a quality of Beskar I have never seen before. It was forged by the Mandalore Tar Visla. Not weapons. Have you ever yeah, heard of I don't know. I'd have a, I'd have a couple trade. Beskar bullets, I suppose, just in case. Bullets don't seem Beskar to exist in this field. universe. That's, that's a big thing she said. It can pierce oh, that's Beskar. Keep that so surely he'd want to keep it then, because you know what if someone else has Beskar armor that he wants no, to kill? No, because that's the way. It's the way, Joe. <laughs> the way is working out really great. Well, you know what? If, you know what? If someone has Beskar armor that he wants to kill, he should probably stay in for their unarmored parts. Way. Yeah, it's true. Had our sect not been cloistered on the moon of Concordia? We would have not survived the Great Purge. Ooh. Yeah, because Mandalorians are great. They can't take on stormtroopers. Oh man, what are we doing now? Does the Mandalore not have an air force? Or a navy? Or no, they don't have Beskar like armor. The oh my god, it's a lot. Oh, it's a lot of empire, huh? The Night of a Thousand <laughs> Tears. <laughs> man, if I was in that situation, I would cry. Oh my god, it's the robot. Yay. Terminator. Again, still way more interesting than anything we've had. Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. The imagery of those scout droids is... I, I do really like them. I really like the way they look. Yeah. Honestly, this episode is bizarre. <laughs> this is a bizarre episode. <laughs> well, this is us setting up season three of Mando. This is our... In our Boba Fett show? <laughs> in our useless yeah. motherfucking... <laughs> who cares, <laughs> Boba Fett These show. are like the same show, right? Like, you just... I don't think so. <laughs> This is the. This is just season three of Mando because you lack a lot of context with this. If you haven't, if you haven't seen Mando, it feels like imagine season three, episode show. one of Mando. It doesn't feel like Boba Fett because Boba Fett is much no, but cheaper and Imagine watching this show. Like imagine watching the the Boba Fett part where he's just like he gets his armor back. And it's like oh, I just guess he has his armor back now. So you have to watch Mando to understand that. What shall I forge for the foundling 
Grogu. Oh, you're making stuff for Grogu? Wait, so gonna get some what? baby Yoda armor? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Chain mail? Chain <laughs> Cloth. It's best car, cloth yeah, a best car, best car napkin. I'm sorry, how did the spear <laughs> fit into that, you know, melt it down? Uh, there's other I, parts. I'm sure I guess the other parts. Part, yeah. Oh, she's trying to train him now? Wait, so her forging tool's the best car? She spun around, I guess so. Cool. so. Yeah. Surely... Why is he so clumsy? Dangerous. Yeah, how does he don't want to train with what? <laughs> how did he fall? <laughs> So they shit. only How had him full so, so that they could jetpack him back up. That was so funny. <laughs> He's like, whoa! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> he just completely went limp and fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Good. Don't hey, drag it, we're floor. standing on this! No, he, he said it's getting heavier with every every blow. Why is it heavy? How is it getting heavier? Oh, no, it's very it's light, like, right? This is bullshit, I think. She's so cool. I don't understand how it's How do they practice with like these deadly If he gets one cut on her then it will win if you fight against it. How is she stronger than him? I don't understand. Also, she's just doing fine. She's literally having forge tools uh lighter apparently. Assistance without insight will lead to the same outcome. Your body is strong. Apparently he's using it wrong and that's making it all heavy, I guess. What? Yeah, that's what I don't understand this. How is he fighting against the blade apparently? Yeah, he's so swinging it like it's 20 pounds. The dark saber belongs in someone else's hand. Oh my god. Maybe. And now it belongs to me. Fight, fight, and fight. now I will win it from you. There's three of you. Can you do this do you later? Agree? Yeah. He's like, I'm tired from the fight. No. I do. You know what? Fuck oh, it, just agrees. take it. I don't even care. Oh, okay. <laughs> What if he said no? Does he just get it by default? Yeah. Or <laughs> what happens? What if he just said fucking take it? I don't give it a shit. What if he space said stuff. I agree, and then the big guy just goes, "Oh, I wasn't serious." Just, <laughs> just kidding. I don't I give a shit. What, what if he just drops it off the edge of the platform? <laughs> Go get it. Bitch. No jetpacks. I'll be cheating. So they just know to <laughs> whenever so someone small. duels you, well, you have to put your jetpacks off. Knock him off the edge is way quicker to Precarious. kill now. Guys, there are there are Precarious. three of you. Can you do this later? When one of you dies, there's only two left. No, you, the way is so fucking isn't dumb. He, isn't he tired from the... You have a knife? Oh. What? That shield is so it doesn't small, even cover your hand. <laughs> Man, you'd think you'd have seen those shields more... Oh, great great Wow, stop, you, are, you are actually <laughs> stupid. You aimed, like, right for the shield, too. Of course. Hey, where's the shield gone? Turned it off. I think he turned it off. Oh no, the Darksaber. So this guy is way bigger and stronger than you. If you couldn't overpower that tired, woman, this yeah. dude is gonna fuck you up. The way he swings it around, too. It's like it's yeah. 20 pounds! Yeah. <laughs> Just throw it off the edge. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, you, oh, you, all you had to do was... Wow, you threw him onto another thing. Does he not one, then? Fate has brought this blade back to my oh, clan. God, it's heavy for him, too. I guess that's a thing now. <laughs> I don't understand why. Did Dude, say that's so fuck it! Don't use the dark saber. it's clearly crap. Just beat him up. Yeah. I can't use believe the stuff you're good did, with. Was it always this heavy, or did they make that up? <laughs> They for me, up. they just oh, made that this. up. Oh, I didn't this know. Is crap. It was working fine for him. Yeah, the dark saber is crap. Ugh. You were doing great. He, he literally he lost up the dark saber. Because yeah. he picked up the special weapon that was shit. Have you ever removed your helmet? No. Has it ever been removed by others? Never. This is the way. So you can just oh, take his up. helmet off, and he can't be a Mandalorian anymore. Why is it so fucking important? Have you ever <laughs> He's like, your no. Helmet? Yes, of course. I have to like yeah. have to yeah, shower. Yeah, they have removed their helmets. We know that's true. Mm. What a loser. Uh, I have. Then you are a Mandalorian no more. Uh huh. Fuck off. And I don't yeah, want to be sure. one. There was yeah, there was fucking show. three of us. Now there's two. Nice. Yeah. Good, Good job. job. This is why there's none of you left. Stupid rules. 
One may only be redeemed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. What? He has the sword the that governs water. all Mandalorians. Why? What more do you need? To be redeemed, you gotta go on a fucking vision quest or some shit then. Yeah, right. We have off. to put a gecko in your nose, Din Djarin. <laughs> God damn You won't it. like the things you see. You know, things, things, things were great when I was just bounty hunting. You guys suck. Taking this with me. Yeah, because I still won. Just saying. Yeah, still fucking mine. Not a Mandalorian. The two of you can sit here and all. rot for all I care. Fuck yes, I will Mandalorians carry the are shit. Them. You're so <laughs> shit. It's like the worst faction. Yeah. I she I bet she feels so fucking proud of herself. Aren't I good? Aren't I the greatest lore master? It's like great. Now there's only <laughs> two of us again, and one of us is me. And the one who left is the one who has the sword that gives him the right to control yeah. our entire civilization. <laughs> my Mandalorian weapons are part of my religion. You can't board a commercial flight with your weapons. If you wish to discuss this with my supervisor, I will gladly book you on tomorrow's flight. Fine. Wow, you just gave this him up that easily. See. That easily. Wow, wait, wait, you didn't- No, get a new plane. Get a new thing. Just go get a new- Whoa, that's the way that those are disarmed? <laughs> Why are you not just getting on a different flight? Oh, it's so funny. It's just, I can't believe he's giving up all of this. This is amusing. Is it's a liberator pistol! It's gonna... a World War II liberator <laughs> yeah, it pistol! Really he's like put it. his fucking grapple in this. It's That's rope. not a weapon, necessarily. <laughs>but I'm also non wow. now. Oh my god. god. It's, well? it's amazing, the <laughs> fucking compassion, or wow. the, rather the conviction. He's like, I can't do that, that's my religion. And it's like, do it. And he's like, okay. okay. Well, he, they said that they could book him in for another flight, like tomorrow. If you yeah. could talk to the supervisor, yeah, which if this is religious, you may be able to get some kind of deal. And he just... And he just got paid for a job. Just yeah. hire Han Solo or whatever yeah, to drive fucking, you someplace. Get a taxi, you loser. Yeah. Well... Look, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no way he's comfortable with losing all of that. Yeah, this, this, that's adorable. Uh, Mandalorians are weird. Don't talk to him. Fucking them. weird, yeah. Just like the, it's just like in, oh it's just like in Joker. Oh my god. Like in Joker. He gives yeah. him a card that said, "I'm retarded." Please. <laughs> if you open it up, you can look at it properly. His back, his jetpack has a seat. <laughs> Oh, it looks you know, you like always, it. You always oh, see that person in public like, transport like, with their yeah. bag on the seat. Oh, Why were you no. supposed to here? Why here? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, so wait, oh. he randomly happens to be on this planet right after oh. Boba Fett says, I, I know someone we could hire. What are the well, odds? Very I, well, small, considering fair, this is a I don't know the timeline yet. Or maybe maybe, maybe Boba's already sent him a message, like, hey, no, no this, this is... And again! This is the ship that the Pikes came in on. So he came on a, on the but same ship. Surely this is surely this is a regular transport though. Oh, uh, maybe. I'm pretty sure I recognize the same shot. That's oh wow! Probably. So that was just that was just the exact same one, huh? You think that they could afford better robots for their staff? So he actually didn't need to like him getting rid of his weapons wasn't a plot point. It just happened because. Yeah, just seen. No, go away! Oh, no. Why are you- why did you shoot? You're what are you shooting at? You're shooting, shooting your own stuff. Maybe that's why the droids are afraid. Do you not have sights yeah. on that thing? Well, that poor There's droid, no it looks terrifying. Also, I don't understand. I feel so sorry for that little pit droid. Well, yeah, why, why is there a creature eating droids? How does that even work? How do you aim that thing? Do you just point and hope? Blood the bus. Yeah. It's a laser blast. Like, this feels like a scene from okay, fucking Big Hero 6. Maybe it ran- <laughs> Is Mando gonna save her? Oh, Mando. instantly, right as I say it. Okay. Hey, look, everyone, it's Mando. Yeah, that's us. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a great way to, that's a great clip for the episode. <laughs> it's just <laughs> us. <laughs> you said you found me a replacement for the Razor Crest. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. Bring the cash. Why did that need clarification? Um, Except for that us. was strange. If I count it? No, yeah. trust yeah. What message? Oh yeah, yeah, that message I sent you. Hey, droids, make yourself How did, are you gonna count that? Nope. Can you just and tell by weight? Oh, so you're telling her what to count it. Look at you. Right this way. Look at you. You're you counting something that's been... Get, you're Maybe they agreed on it before, Rags, and she trusts him. Ready to have your mind blown? Um, no, it's already too small. I could tell I it's say, already too yeah, small. Bit... I have to fit, like, cryo-freezing chambers and... Yeah. I'd race him. 
Yeah. It can't be that See? hard to acquire a spaceship in Star Wars. How? Oh wait, that's not a oh, wait, no, This is a joke. Where's the Razor Crest? I never said I had a Razor Crest. I said I had a replacement for a Razor Crest. This is an N1 Starfighter, handmade for the Royal Guard and commissioned Is that the boost of it? It is. Yeah, it is. It's it a yeah, I felt joke. so. Do you want your credits back? I don't care what it is. I can't carry Those my stuff in it. I feel like it's so indicative of what's what gone wrong that, money. like, now you have to pillage no, the prequels Zeddy. as well yep. to get people excited. But, like, this is clearly not suitable While for my waiting, needs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it may this well be a cool obviously, ship, but it is not a ship that I need. Yeah. This is, this yeah, it doesn't suit doesn't his work. requirements at all. It's like if I asked, hey, I need a van because I need to make deliveries. It's like, here's a motorbike. It's like, I said I needed a van. Hey, look, this is yeah, a pretty this cool is, motorbike. It's like, yes, cool. I said I needed This need is a single seat Starfighter. I can't use this for long trips across yeah, the galaxy. I, I don't have any. Bounties. Yeah. Imagine having to sleep in this vehicle. Exactly. You're and if you have to piss or something, you don't have no a droids. vac tube. God, I didn't even think of pissing. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I will say that's a bit out of character. <laughs> well, those creatures even. Wait, that what fast? did you do that for? <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> it's like a Tuscan Raider. Look, oh, a bit fell off it. <laughs> this woman is clearly not trustworthy, and you need to leave. She's crazy. This woman is like Destiny's Anna. I feel like there's clearly a lot more work that needs to do it on this shit. Mm, lots and lots. It's not got most of its bits on. Uh, well, she wants him to help. No, yeah. I'm not gonna help. Did he? Well, not, so he's agreeing now. A... <clears throat> of course he is. Just focus right here. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You have a light. Where did your light go? You put it on your helmet in season one, episode two. No. The Jawas had a turbonic venturi assimilator from a Galactic Republic era starfighter. Well, they didn't have it. They got it. From where? What? Tatooine is. Where do you fucking think? Yeah. <laughs> the Jawas. I gave him a list. <sighs> of parts. And they find no, them of, for you. No, of fucking dandelions. See if the Jawas are still out back. Do they remember oh, Mando? He got him an egg. Do they know he murdered many of their kind? Oh, wow, well, that's He fine. disintegrated oh, multiple here they Jawas. Are. Oh, wow, Look, they're there. They were wow. <laughs> they were just waiting off <laughs> They were screen. listening. Like. If I give them a list of parts, could they get them for me? That would be Why don't you just convenient. go and buy a ship with all of your money, bounty just, hunter? He just writes Razor Crest on the they list, that's all it is. And just bring him one. The parts you want, the specs you need, and I'm gonna make it work, alright? I dated a Jawa. Okay. You dated a Jawa? You dated a Jawa. Why would you do what that? What do they look like under their hoods? I don't wanna know, I'm just scared. Find the parts. Oh, I'm she scared. knows what they look like under their hoods. Yeah. Now this is Star Wars, it'd be a girl Jawa. <laughs> Why do we care? Why are you buffing the outside? Do you not have more pressing concerns mechanically? There's animals in there. Man, it's great that you paid her to work on the ship. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just, you guys, I feel like a starship is an extremely complicated and very, very difficult thing to build. Like, you need professional companies assembling these in factories. I don't remember him agreeing that he would have this ship, by the way. She said, like, I'll fix it and then you can decide. That, but... <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. Even though he's fixing it, too. <laughs> And it's still a one-seater starfighter that's designed up, yeah. for a No, they're battle. setting up the exhaust manifold venting button. Oh, okay. Don't yeah, shoot that, it'll explode! That, oh. that plug position oh, wow, is that's funny, useful. whether it's the front or the back of the droid. I guess that's they gotta, they gotta amp up the cute but, um, now that they yeah, got Is that the robot from the Jedi Fallen Order I know that I'm supposed to find all this shit cute, and I do, and it's annoying me. I'm sorry, Jay, they got you. You know how lucky you are that I got my hands on this baby? These are a lot harder to come by than some plain old Razor Crest. Yeah, but it's so small! I don't care if it's harder to come by. A diamond is harder to come by than a Chevy Silverado, but one of them has, is more suited for certain things that... You understand what I'm trying to say. So they remodeling like it silver instead of the original montage. yellow? Yeah. But a montage. More animals? How many yeah. animals are in there? there? Jesus. Are they gonna die when you take off? Yes. Are they gonna mm -hmm. die in space? Are they gonna fast. suffocate horribly? Oh look, it's the sticker sure. from uh, A New Hope. They, it they used it to try and stop the trash compactor. Is that stick? Is it actually oh, that stick? Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Looks like the exact same one. We'll have to check in post. Is it just for the reference? Is that why it's sure. here? Thanks. Thanks. What? Are you kidding me? What'd you do that for? You're gonna spoil them. Not a quarter. Dar, he'll be dancing for hours. Are you trying to make me look bad? You already look. Are you trying to make me look bad? I gotta get an exhaust manifold ventilator button hatch. 
He gave them money and then checked if it fits. That's Can we great. be done with that now? Pterodactyl. The alien pterodactyl. Yeah, there it is. That's not done yet, what? right? But this is not suited for your needs. You need yeah. it. Like, yeah, it's a cool ship, but it's yeah. a it. Mm. Like, hey, you could dock this into your actual ship. Yeah. <laughs> floating. What happened to the droid port? I hogged it out. I figured with your disposition, you'd want to forego the astromech. Because <laughs> remember, allegedly, he doesn't like droids, but he got over that fucking real quick. His, yeah. his attitude with droids has been extremely inconsistent in a bizarre way, because the writing that, in the show is crap. Is that on the back? Is that the little separate bubble for your kids on the Homer car? <laughs> <laughs> That's so that he can carry Grogu around. <laughs> Now that's a good reference, Jay. Thank you. We've had a Simpsons reference in almost every episode. I just wanted to say at the end, it's like, yeah, it's cool, but it's still too small. Give me another one. Yeah, where do I keep my stuff? How do also, I sleep? Also, you owe me money ready? because I helped you with this. I think she's ready? Ready as she'll ever be. Really? But there's like parts missing, right? Start her up. I guess that's... Really? Just that's how it aesthetic. looks. That's the aesthetic. Not she's finished. Like, you know, one of those, those cars <laughs> has like... Brokenness uh, not aesthetic. <laughs> Is half of this episode putting this shitty spaceship together? Well, yeah, it already has been. That's the sound of episode one. Oh, I don't know where the trigger is. Shouldn't we run a diagnostic first? Nah. Yes, yes. No, sure. it's fine. Don't worry about it. Send her the engine is wobbling. Dude, it's a spaceship, He's gonna man. fucking die. Like... The engine, <laughs> look at how much the engine's wobbling. I can't believe this. This is even the story. Like. Mm. Oh, she's got a replacement ship for the Razor Crest that I shall pay for. No, it's not at all that, and I have to build it. Oh, God. Are you allowed to fly this low to the town? Man, no, I would be surprised if you are. I imagine that, in, Dude, that kicks crash. up an insane amount of dust. A little bumpy. You're used to a gunship, yeah. but she's a starfighter, so fly her like one. Okay. How come the, does that mean? That's good advice. Fly her like the ship that she is. It's gotta be really annoying if people do that over town. And it kicks up huge clouds of dust. Man, you Jeez, are... you are... It's a big wow. risky thing to do with a ship you've barely had tested or used. But okay, fucking, why don't you bullseye some Womp Rats? They're actually doing Phantom Menace nostalgia though. I know. Controls are real snappy. How's the maneuverability? Yeah, his helmet's like <laughs> bumping the top of the thing. To yeah, it's really... It's just like Beggar's Canyon back home. Narrow. Oh look, it's the this pod is the actual place. fucking pod race track. Wow. <laughs> Man. Uh. Remember episode what? Now remember, Anakin is the only human who could pod race, but apparently Din Djarin is such a good skilled pilot, he could do this in a well, starfighter at higher speeds. Yeah. This wow. Is, really I just want him to get track, shot by yeah. Tusken Raiders now while he's flying there. Wait, we going to space? Be careful, bro. Okay. Are you allowed to do that? Just take a starfighter right next to a commercial airliner? Do you think that concerned. they'd have an issue with that? Especially with the weapons. I would never fucking take this thing to space. Not yet, anyway. Oh, wait, don't- I forgot to install the inertial dampeners. No! This can't be allowed. Yeah, like... <laughs> this is very dangerous. Wow, they, they do make that sound for everything. Yeah. Are you not gonna pass out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, I thought Sarek. something might go wrong at some point. Thank God, uh, some fucking police. Is it gonna be Dave Filoni's sub guy? Yeah. Again? Was I doing something wrong, officer? Yes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, literally. Oh, the they, they said it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank God, some fucking law enforcement in this galaxy. Sorry, Wait, this is Tatooine. What are the Republic doing here? Your engine model doesn't match your power drive. We're gonna need to see your title tabs. I'll head right back to Moss Eisley and get it sorted out. Relinquish your flight controls for remote control access. Uh, hold on a second. Surely the Republic has better things to do than be I was here about to on say, Tatooine. I'm surprised, actually, that they're putting this much effort in. Your voice is mighty familiar. That ship showed up on a transponder log back in Navarro in an incident involving Imperial remnants. You might answer Wait, so hang on. Is it a coincidence? Is he actually gonna get in trouble for that stuff that he did? Really, that they. Is, is it just a coincidence, though, that it's the same fucking X Wing pilot? Wow. Oh, what the man. fuck? What were you in trouble for? Well, he, he was. Jump? Remember, he was asking questions about that place that blew up, right? Jump, yeah. The, uh, the one that they Those blew up. Are we reporting this? You want to go back to base? Fill out reports all day? 
No, sir. Why are you here on Tatooine? <laughs> Isn't this? Aren't you like stretched thin? Dude, that seems genuinely. Weird. Is it genuinely yeah. just a coincidence that he he met the same two guys that he uh, met? Yes. Like, oh, All the rest. Did you say it was wizard? Wizard. <laughs> yeah. Did. Wizard. Oh man, we just like. By, said she was looking oh. for An old friend of yours dropped by. Said she was looking for you. A friend of mine. Don't worry. I told her I didn't know where you were. Then I locked her out and engaged the hangar security system. Oh, Fennec. She tell you mm -hmm. her name? Fennec Shan. <laughs> Why did you crawl up there? System was Don't get away from me. What? Right Why did you? Why did you crawl up there? By any chance, are you looking for work? Might could be. Hey, is good. How much I haven't done the job yet, but okay. Lot? But like, what was even the story point of him hurting his leg? Like, what does that accomplish for the, the episode? Sure that the dark saber it. must be respected, Jay, or it will cut you. Tell him it's on the house. But first, I gotta pay a visit to a little friend. Uh. Uh, Grogu. <laughs> well, actually, no Boba in this episode. I just <laughs> like the great episode wow. of Book of Boba Fett. What a... <laughs> That wasn't Book of the Things. Like, guys, you put the wrong episode in. <laughs> yeah, just you mixed something up. <laughs> it, just, it just wasn't Boba Fett. <laughs> I'm starting to think that they recorded this first, and then he was like, I can't make it for the rest. They're like, fuck, we need another replacement <laughs> show. Jesus. <sighs> what the hell? Because that episode was way better produced than anything in the Boba yeah, Fett show. Yeah, it was oh, yeah, very absolutely. expensive. He went to different wow. places. There were scenes. There were starships. And like the first, there was like five minutes of somewhat interesting content. Five and minutes then it of what we actually to wanted to see. Yeah. Doing bounty hunter stuff like a bounty hunter would do in a bounty hunter show. Then it just turned into Remember This, the episode. Yeah. It was so weird. It was just like, hey, let's have a ship building montage, I guess. <laughs> it really <laughs> ran out really... the, the runtime. That rat is way bigger on here. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> like, it, it, we really were just doing random stuff with Mando until the episode ended. Like... <laughs> Yeah, because the episode could have ended when he arrived at Tatooine and Fennec was like, oh, hey. And he goes, oh, yeah, hey, because she called him, you know? It could have been that. But I guess we do need to get him a new ship, and that's his new ship. But like, why spend so much time fixing it? Why not literally just be, yeah, we got your new ship, here it is. Yeah, it'll be done for you, because he doesn't even need to use it yet. So they could have just established that she had it and needed to fix it. Yeah. And that it would take some time. And so later, when you need it, she can be done with it. And why you bother do having it need stuff? to be fixed? Yeah, didn't need to. Don't know. I mean, I, I guess, have it be and, ready. Also, and it's and it's still not a ship that is appropriate for him. No, it's yeah, like, we never oh. addressed that. We just didn't. It's just I'm, wasn't it's a, a Nabu Starfighter. Remember Nabu Starfighters? Aren't they cool? Aren't they amazing? Now Boba, or sorry, now Mando has one, and isn't that so cool and awesome? What if he needs to get like people again, like in the first episode or whatever? So the way it was? you do it, is chop them up into little pieces, put them in a bag, and then have oh. the bag hang outside the window. Have the bag on your lap. <laughs> Yeah. What if I need to sleep when I travel in between planets? No. Yeah. no. What if I need to use the loo? Don't no, have one of those. No, what no. if I have to store a anything? Like, well, well your, I guess it's a glove box. Your bounty bag can function as your piss bag as well, Rex. Yeah. It won't. The bounty people won't like that, but that's okay. Yes, your bounty. I he peed he a little pissed bit himself on it. when he died on his face. <laughs> it was. But really this is his weird. head. Yes, I know. <laughs> um, I guess the best episode of the lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It has no to be honest with you, in it. It might even score pretty high compared to all the episodes from season one and two as well. Yeah, I would say so. It was like it's it's not good, but like it's it's still definitely got a lot of the problems that all of these Star Wars shows have. Yeah, just like I don't understand why a lot of the scenes progress the way that they do. Yeah, you never that, like we have to go back to Boba next week. <laughs> well, yeah, now that's kind of lame actually by comparison, which that like, sucks, um, doesn't it? I left the um, I left the trailer like that, not the trailer. I left the um, the episode playing and it just looped back to the start, and then I just saw like the footage of Boba on the previously trailer, and I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what. We're well, this yeah, is um, why this episode doesn't have Boba Fett in it. Here comes something controversial. I think I like watching Din Djarin more than I like watching Boba Fett. Yeah. Oh, I think so. Mm. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Uh, that uh, sort of does. Uh, real. They both suck, but like, damn, that's what you did to Boba Fett, I guess. At least yep. Din Djarin like does stuff. Yeah. He feels I like mean, his fights are stupid, but at least he has like fights or whatever, and at least he goes places, and the places can be interesting. So, that's something. Definitely a lot more proactive than uh, mm. Boba Fett. 
Yeah, I've never been I'm so happy to see something. the emptiness of space before. I just we, yeah, we were I want to get different... off that fucking planet. <laughs> Look, yeah. well, that that little halo thing that, that was more interesting than That's anything neat. we've seen in ages. Yeah, yeah and then I we really go right back. I, I, we Fuck showed up there, and I was like, ooh, cool. Yeah. This is an interesting place. And, and it was a new thing. It wasn't just like, hey, remember old thing? It was a new yeah. thing. That was shocking. They did I was stunned. back to old thing, but they did at least have new thing. They made sure to get out of new thing quick so they could get back to old thing, but <laughs> at least new thing yeah. existed in some capacity. You know how like, funny it is if you guys scroll back. It's like, oh yeah, that intro action scene. He's gotten his bounties heading to that city. And then it just goes, Book of Boba Fett intro. You're like, wait, <laughs> wait what? <laughs> they, put, they put the wrong intro on this Mandalorian <laughs> episode. <laughs> Yeah, Guys, wrong good. disc, wrong disc. It would be it's so fucking funny good. if that were actually what happened. Like, they announced it, they're like, <laughs> so accidentally, we, we've mixed up the episodes. Sorry. I guess yes. we are still doing the thing that I find annoying, though, where it's like, I thought Mandalorian was going to be completely disconnected from, like, the main stuff that was happening. But now he, he's he was got like an episode. Shit. Well, half, half an episode. I, I, this, um, I guess is what I mean, is like, why couldn't it be, why does it have to be a ship that was from the prequels? Why can't it just be, like, another ship? This is a galaxy, there's probably a lot of cool ships that you could have been. Absolutely. And it's frustrating because it's so easy to make something so interesting. We can follow, like, a person, you know, like a Han Solo, and then Mando, we follow him, and then Mando's sent after Han Solo. And we're exactly. like, fuck, I like these two, but I get why Mando's doing what he's doing, you know, that sort of thing. Standard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess this this is now setting up whatever Mando is doing in his third season, trying to uh, learn how to use the uh, dark saber I'm properly because it gets heavier almost, for some reason. I'm still almost and certain man. To do, going we're going to do, do a third his... season, but then he couldn't make it, and so they so only got because this it. super feels like season three, episode one. You get a new ship, you reestablish mm -hmm. exactly what he's up to, and he's got his. Uh, we, you know, we catch up with him in the middle of what he's been doing this whole time, which is just bounties, standard, normal bounties. Totally. Now, okay, so now, like, yeah. if you watch Mandalorian Season 3, when that comes out, right, you won't really be able to follow, like, you'll, there'll be loads of new no, developments that have actually. happened. Yeah. You won't because, be able to follow yeah, without watching Book of Boba Fett. Book of you can't follow Book of Boba Fett. Ship? What? Well, He's... Boba Fett, you, what? You can't He's watch Book of him. Boba Fett without watching um, Mandalorian Season 2, because that explains how he got his armor back and stuff. It's like... That's important context. If you don't, well, if you haven't seen that, it just sort of cuts to him having his armor, and you're like, "Oh, okay, I guess." The correct name for Book of Boba Fett is Mandalorian Season Two Point One yeah. Dash Guest Starring Boba Fett. Yeah. No, like the Book of Boba Fett is like standalone DLC for a video game. You know? Yes. Like, yes. Yeah, you've got, that's like, perfect. The main game. It's uh -huh. like. It's like, yeah, that's basically and then, what it is. And they release these crappy DLCs, and we're like, boo, and then they put out the Mandalorian epi bonus episode DLC or whatever, and people are like, yeah. this was the content they were actually working on. The other stuff was bullshit from a B team. It did. It looked yeah. way better than the other episodes. It's yeah, not in the, it's exactly not in, it's not a part of the others. It's just not. It's not. It wasn't made by this. It's, <laughs> you yeah, this tell. is clearly yeah. a different I level. A, just, of money. A, a whole different level of quality. And the thing, well, to me, we don't even spending think this more is... money on on Mando than Boba. Um, but... it is actually, yeah. I don't know what to make of that though. It could have just happened not... in terms of because again, I, I'm pretty sure like it wasn't the plan to have Boba Fett uh, before Mando season three. I'm assuming they were forced into that position. So like, this is a I bit mean, of a rush it would job. a lot because yeah, Boba deserves way fucking better. For some reason, he doesn't get the production <gasps> values that Mandalorian gets. And it's like if you're going to choose one, you know. You'd think. But I guess because Mandalorian's been made this way for the two seasons, the, it was supposed to get the same shit for the third season. Because I, I bet you, if the episodes were like this for Boba Fett, people would be saying this is a good show. Probably. If people are. We would still be saying it's a bad show. Cooled. Yeah, yeah. But it would at least be more interesting visually like, to watch. You would go like, to different places, and we, it wouldn't all take place in two rooms. We can claim definitively the best episode of Book of Boba Fett doesn't have Boba Fett in it. Yeah. The fuck are we doing? Interesting, <laughs> but true. It's insanity, because we only set up all these things Mando is going to do, Wait. and then Fennec at the end is like, "Hey, you going to work? Yeah, what's well, in the house? Because you helped me before." I feel like um, I would be more happy to accept an episode of Book of Boba Fett without Boba Fett in it, if Boba Fett was like the only Star Wars show they were doing. But since they've got like a million shows, it seems mm -hmm. weird to have an entire episode of the Boba Fett show without Boba in it. Like, 
This character that we just have an entire episode focusing on, he has his own show. It's called The Mandalorian. Like he's already why... had two seasons, and this yeah, wasn't why... you know this this wasn't like a cool cameo guest starring thing. It's like he he had a chonker of an episode. It yeah. was an episode dedicated to him exclusively, and the story so, that he's embarking on. It had nothing to do with the book of Boba Fett. The only thing that had anything to do with the book of Boba Fett was the ending. Like right that's what feels seconds. tacked on. It's just like, oh, by the way, Fett. A little right. bit, yeah. She's Adventure hearing... Time, like, and has that... um, occasional episodes that barely have Finn and Jake in them at all. But, like, those episodes... Well, sure, because, those, yeah, that's... Yeah, but like, longer. And, and that like, universe yeah. only but, like, that has Adventure dumb. Time. That would be really dumb if it wasn't called Adventure Time, but it was called the Finn and Jake show, and then there was, like, a Princess Bubblegum show and a Marceline show. Right, yeah. And, and then Marceline, for some reason, took over an episode of the Finn and Jake show. That would feel just dumb. It's like, it's not the biggest complaint I'm sure that any of us have, right? But like, We're all just commenting on how bizarre weird. the meta is right now. It's so interesting how, let's say you're in Mando's position and you need a ship, and you're on Halo, and you are apparently going to Tatooine to Moss Eisley because a mechanic that you met twice has, I guess... She said she found a ship for you, but you didn't inquire as to what the ship was or its condition before you decided to trek across the galaxy and commit heresy to your religion so yeah. that you could go and see what ship it was that she wanted you to have. And he never investigated any other place on Halo, which seems to be... I mean, an interesting place to be. There's all kinds of stuff going on there, I assume. Yeah, go to the fucking ship store. Yeah, you didn't go to a ship store, you didn't browse the wanted ads, you didn't browse... Is there an Amazon the, in this world? Is there a space Craigslist or anything like that? I assume that ships must be in high supply for this intergalactic civilization, <laughs> you know? Maybe. Uh, well, they're in such high supply that they've all been bought and there's none left. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, but he, he never bought some hand-me-down something. Well, it, on, on top of that point, right, the fact that he was like, nah, I'm, I'm leaving, like when he sees the ship, it's just like, w was he actually just gonna walk back to that place, deliver all the weapons again, and go back to Halo Land? Or, like, what, <laughs> was he just like, well, this trip was lame. <laughs> like... Yeah. yeah, like, did Maybe you not- Maybe he's gonna go to a ship store. Hopefully, yeah. Like, whenever, like, here on Earth, when you're only on one planet, when you browse through the want ads, or someone says, I might have a car for you, you don't blindly say, okay, I'll be over there Tuesday to take a look at it, and that's it? you like, what kind is it? Shoot me some pictures. What you, he has an existing work relationship with this woman, Rag, so he trusts her, you know? She set him up with the lizard frog. Person. But it's like their their relationship is he should not really trust her. She is clearly unstable. No, 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 no. But he does though. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose that settles that. Yeah. The Sarlacc I... pit has psychic effects on the people it digests, right? <laughs> <laughs> she. Who knows who she was before she was eaten by the Sarlacc? Same food. That's just, everyone exchanges their Sarlacc pit stories. Oh, I was I was a whole different person before I the Sarlacc ate me. Like, yeah, me too, man. Well, didn't uh, Mando get eaten by the giant sand dragon thing? So maybe he's had some stuff done as well. Yeah, I can clearly tell his character is much different. Can we really say that we just watched the Book of Boba Fett episode 5? I don't think so. We watched, we watched Mandalorian no, we watched episode Mandalorian 3, episode season, episode one. Season, season 1. Season 3, episode, episode 1. Zero. Season 3, episode season 1. Three, episode zero. Yeah. Episode 0. The pre this mm. is the prologue to season well, 3. Yeah, kind of. Almost in a sense, too. You could have just had he turns up because they called him. You don't actually need all of this for Boba Fett. That's true. Yeah. They could have just messaged him with a <clears throat> piece of technology that allows you to communicate vast distances. Oh yeah, you don't need because this is just setting up Mando season three. This is well, setting up if... dark saber rock stuff and his yeah, ship, it, right? Yeah, we could have moved all of it to that theoretical season. That's why I'm pretty sure this was created before they decided they were going to be definitely doing a Boba Fett season. I think you're right. I mean, I think that the sheer value you can see in this episode, production-wise, it stands apart to a an absurd degree. Like, it was weird. This show was weirdly better. It was an interesting reminder of what we used to get, because I forgot, like, like when people were pointing out how cheap Boba Fett looks, I was like, oh yeah, it does actually, yeah, and we've barely been anywhere. It's like, huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's three locations and they're all shit. And it's just not a lot of stuff happens and they don't really go any places. They don't, they, I, I feel like with this, at least we're trying to wow people with new stuff to a degree. Like, Ooh, look at this 
look at this new Halo place. Ooh, look at all of these well, costumes. Um, ooh, look at this fight scene. And ooh, wow, they're fighting underneath the space platform. Wow. And oh, look at this. He's flying through Moss Eisley and he's going through all these canyons and stuff. Like, at least they're trying to, like, have my eyes go, ooh, that's a thing. He's. You can see him chopping things in half and stuff. It's like, this feels like it has more teeth than Boba Fett as well. Yeah. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. blood. Yeah, there was, there was some blood drips. There were some implications I mean, of people being chopped in half. There were some wounds. They showed some wounds. Yeah, which honestly felt weird. I do remember in Mando weird. Season 2, though, when Ahsoka showed... Uh, sorry, Ashoka showed up. Ashoka. 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 Ashoka showed up. A Ashoka showed up. Um... <laughs> That when she lightsabered people, it, it was basically like she was hitting them with a stick. Yeah, and it didn't slice like at all. It was like, oh, okay, I guess you guys want the PG rating or whatever, right? Were they not? Were they not doing that here? Because it did seem like the actual the dark saber actually did some cutting. And they showed a guy some, getting. They try to avoid showing too much. But they do show yeah. some yeah, of it. Yeah, they implied. Yeah, they 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 did the implications of what was happening. Like it cut clean, like the meat that was hanging. It chopped that in half, right? But that's a dead meat. That's fine. But when the dude on the table got chopped in half, they only just implied it. Yeah, they show the line um, go through him, but they don't show. You yeah, know, the, the separation. It this it feels very out of place. And maybe that says something about the Book of Fett that the one that, what, firstly, again, doesn't have him in it and that feels like it really does belong to an entirely different show is the best one so far. Yeah, and, and it's not um, even good. it has probably the best five minutes of all of it. Like, yeah. 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 It's, it's what I wanted. I just wish there was more of it because then we get back to the dumb, like, it's like Dark Saber, yeah. Mandalore stuff. But even then, we had, like, the planet getting bombed and everything. It's like, man, this is, like, something that would mm -hmm. be worth exploring. This, I guess that's just thing, like, like the, a world where um, that first five minutes is representative of, like, an entire movie that we got that started with those five minutes. And I was like, oh, man, I want to see that. That'd be cool. I would, uh, I be, would uh, well, I mean, I'm, I will say, because as we were watching it, even despite the stupid stuff, it's like, well, I'm kind of paying attention more so than... yeah. At like least I, stuff I'm for me to see. Be, yeah, because we're I'm like, oh, they might engaged. be, they might be going somewhere. But yeah. with Boba Fett, we're just like, wait, what is even the yeah, fucking goal here? I, <laughs> what I are we that, doing? That's actually that's an interesting thing worth clarifying. You remember how, like, in episode one, we said that that Boba Fett's better than Mandalorian? I don't feel that way anymore. Like Boba mm -hmm. Fett fucking sucks. Oh yeah, I, well, so if you remember, we said specifically at the time that it was because there was less for them to fuck up. It was really like. Meh. Yeah. There's nothing happening. Uh, at this but point, I'm pretty sure we've yeah. already said that Boba Fett is worse, because it assassinates just... <laughs> Boba Fett, which... <laughs> I, I think it's yeah. just, when you have this episode there, it's like, oh yeah, Boba Fett's awful. <laughs> like, I really <laughs> don't like it. Well, really, yeah, but really I do really want to like... clarify, this was one of the better Mando episodes as well. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, it was. Mm, I um, think so, yeah. There was... There was I, because I, I guess that's the thing is like let's not forget how many really uh not good episodes of Boba Fett there were. I think one of the reasons is because when he's just walking around, there's not too much to fuck up really. He's just kind of walking <laughs> yeah. around, nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. When he's getting an exposition dump from Blacksmith Lady, I mean it's like okay, this is just an exposition about shit. That's not really anything you could really fuck up, I guess, in terms of this show. Mm -hmm. When he's sitting mm -hmm. in a Repairing like, a ship can't really go wrong. Yeah, Very like complicated it's complicated just... stuff. You're right. Yeah. It's not um, well, and, and the most complicated being the either. fights. They did get them. Like they were stupid. Uh, yes, but I mean, mm. even, even how like a lot of our scenes connect, right? Like, I mean, the bigger men would, would be let's do a different ship. Give him something that's similar to the Razor Quest in terms of Razor Quest <laughs> in terms of uh, functionality. Let's let's have it be that he knows exactly what the ship is. And maybe, like she said, you know, she didn't tell him everything about how much work is needed to fix it up, and there's maybe a bit of a fight. We could Not even... like a, a, a fight, but like, you know, an argument. I honestly wonder if in the writing room the idea was floated where someone said, Hey, well, you know, Han, he lost the Falcon around this time. I wonder nah. if that was that, that suggestion to give Mando the Falcon. Oof. That would be horrible, even for them. Oh, I bet. Um... Yeah, I could believe that the, uh, yeah. The excuse they gave us was that he thought it was a Razor Crest because she said the ship is like the Razor Crest. But that's like. And what she meant by like is that it is a. Not at all like vehicle. the Razor Crest. Yeah. yeah. It's a, well, yeah, it's it's a flying like, vehicle. Like, it, it's a motor vehicle, and it's like. Again, I wanted a van, and you get well, a motorcycle. And we all think to ourselves, he should be fucking clarifying that. 
you shouldn't just be like, oh, it's like it? Cool. I yeah, travel the, that far. This episode had, like, no fucking structure. It was just something happens, then another thing, and then and oh, we're doing a different segment now. Oh, now it's time for a different segment. I feel like I watched, at minimum, two separate episodes. Like, the, the bounty like hunting a, episode, like but with the Like it's a variety Darksaber, show, almost. And then, yeah. And then the ship fixing episode. Yeah. Here's our serious Mandalore. Oh my goodness. And now here's our, our happy go lucky plucky mechanic thing. And now, oh, this is the part where he kills the bounty in the meat factory. And you're like, you're mm. like, oh, okay. We're, what, uh, like if, I, what if that is what it is? What if they've chopped it down, but it used to be? Because there's two action scenes, if you think about it that way the book and the episode. And if we just stretch out some of the scenes a little bit longer, I think we would have a full episode. He gets the bounty, delivers it on Halo Planet, he goes to visit person, gets a lore dump, fights the guy in a duel, and then maybe we have like an epilogue scene where he talks about the future of Mandalore and the future of the show, blah blah blah. Next episode begins with him traveling in public transport, you know, gets over to Tatooine's, making the ship, and we get the fun... You know, like, this really could be two episodes, it may have been. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think you're you're onto something there. Because mm -hmm. you do oh, yeah. feel like there is that big <clears throat> that big lull in the middle where he has to leave Halo, and so yeah, I could see that being the start of a new episode. And maybe they did record two for season three, and then he was like, "Can't make it. Got to do The Last of Us." Or whatever what is, the fuck what's Pedro's this, up to? Is that is that actually why there's the delayed season three? I'm almost certain. I, I haven't got like an article to reference, but I, loads of people have talked about how he was. He was just not able. It, it, if you remember, they had to struggle to get him back. I think because he was unhappy with how much FaceTime he doesn't get in the show. Because he has to wear a helmet the whole time. Yeah, which is so funny considering Boba Fett. They forced him to take the mask off all the fucking time. Well, yeah, I would. I actually prefer I'm people keeping their helmets on <laughs> more often As than not. Do we all? No, they've, they've already established that they can't destroy the helmet because it's fucking well, indestructible. You can punch it through the hull, hull of a spaceship and it's fine. Well, <laughs> not only can't you destroy it, but it's a fundamental, like, part of his religion. Know, well, that's, that, that's, that's that the thing, right? Well, because then that's, that's Unless they say, say destroy, you have to take right? the helmet off to take this taxi and he's like, but it's my religion. They said, oh yeah, well, you might have to explore other options. Imagine they said, said that. You can't wear fucking helmets off. on thing. You'd just be like, oh, I guess, yeah. All right. By the way, it's like, is a very reasonable thing for them to say. Like, you can't cover up your face on public transport. We have to be able to know um, who you are. Like, the, the thing that I, I don't... like the, re the reason I'm saying, like, they need to destroy it is because of how established it is that he wouldn't take it off voluntarily, right? It's like, yeah, they'd need to damage it, right, to get him more face time uh, in the show. But they can't. There's no way for them to do that. They literally just melted the only thing that could, the best Gus beer. By the way, this is the episode where he got kicked out of being the Mandal and the Mandalorians, and he took it pretty well. <laughs> yeah, didn't really give a I shit. Mean, this, was his, this was his whole life, apparently, but he took his helmet off that one time, so you can't mm -hmm. be a Mandalorian because you took your helmet off. What if someone just, like, you're fighting and someone just takes it off? It's like, whoop, you can't be a Mandalorian anymore. Well, I mean, he's still so you... with a Darksaber, so he's, yeah, he's technically I... in charge. Of... Plus, you know, like, there's only two others, so he, he basically outnumbers them. Well, remember. Like, ha you know, almost. Well, he, has to he just has to go to the, little quest you gotta to go to the, the rivers of Mandalore or whatever and drink yeah. the juice or something. Oh, yeah, drink the hot goo. Yeah, you have to swim in the <laughs> Mandalorian juice or something. Because I don't know how it follows that if you... It's just like, it's just presented, oh, you have to go and jump in this pool. And I'm like, but what, what does that have... What does that like, mean? Can I just something? say that I did it? Or, like, yeah, I totally did it. I don't. What does this mean? Why is... What's why do I have to jump off? in this pool on this planet to be a Mandalorian again? There's no establishment of his, what it means to da da da. Uh, it's like almost no benefit of doing it anyways. There's like only two people left. Yeah, why be Mandalorian, actually? Yeah. His his relationship with him being a Mandalorian is tumultuous at best. It is very up and down. He'll take the helmet off for this. He'll surrender his weapons for that. He'll, I mean, he, he's with some chick on a, in a forest for a couple weeks, and he almost, like, marries her. And it's just this weird, like, why do you care so much? Why would you so, care? Mandalorians suck. If like, just, what is it about this like, that you actually like? If he just, like, knocks the helmet off the other two, um, Mandalorians, would there just be none left? <laughs> it's literally like, a joke. Lol, that's a, took your hat. That's a joke in my, uh, my Mando script for season one, is if you, if he just went around and you just took the helmet off someone else, like, oh, you're not a Mandalorian anymore. No, oh, got you. <laughs> oh, and they're like, wait, oh, what, what the fuck? But that's not fair. He's like, oh, should have worn a chin strap. Um, 
1915, by the way, I'm just playing it over and over again right now, is when he just Year? fucking commits suicide. <laughs> he just jumps off the bridge. Oh, so right. funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, the Dark like Saber so is... Funny. Uh, like, yeah, the Dark Saber is very heavy. <laughs> because... <laughs> The way they swing it around like it's twenty pounds, and like what, why, it, what? It should weigh like nothing, right? It just feels a weird nerf to give it. It's like I guess well, they I can re- write it so that it gets. It heavy. wasn't heavy before. I don't remember him running out of the steam well, so I, fucking I, quickly. Yeah, I don't know what's what's up with that. I wonder if that's like some I don't know, fake EU stuff that's not canon anymore, and they try to recanonize or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. But they definitely just made it up for me on the spot. It's like. Oh yeah, you can actually use it properly because it gets heavier if you fight against the blade. Whatever and that means. With it. Whatever that means. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. Love that fucking prattful dude. You can <laughs> like, you can see the crash mat he's jumping onto by the way he jumps. <laughs> oh, there you have it. We yeah. Did thanks it. for watching, uh, everybody. Mandalorian. Yeah. See you next time. Episode oh, one. We'll see you next time. Mandalorian. Mando. Mando. More like man. Don't. Twelve. <laughs> the book of Mandalore. Ian. <laughs>